Mercedes-Benz W213, E-Class, E200 problem is after starting the engine, after running for 5 to 10 minutes, the engine gets very hot, the engine temperature rises very high, I show you what are the problems of the car. After filling up the coolant tank, I started the car and closed the coolant tank cap now I will do the car engine start test to see what the problem is. The engine is now hot and the engine cooling fan is turned on. Engine coolant temperature is hot, coolant fan running, but radiator coolant the hose pipe is hot at one side, and the hose pipe is not hot at the other side. Mercedes-Benz E-Class this car coolant temperature normal 80 degrees high temperature 115 degrees, but now the coolant temperature of this car is very high 118 degrees Celsius I will stop the engine now the temperature is very high near the red line. I will check with the scan computer to see if there are any fault codes. The fault code usually comes when the check engine light is on, but this car's check engine light is not on, there is no fault code. What common causes your car's engine to overheat like if the radiator, water pump hoses are leaking water? If there is a leak in the head gasket or thermostat housing, the cooling system can no longer control the engine high temperature coolant problem. An improper coolant to water ratio or the wrong coolant are two possibilities, because a car will overheat. If you notice that it is hot in one area and cold in another, you may have a faulty thermostat. This could be due to a thermostat not opening or closing as designed, so I would first open the coolant thermostat and check if there is a coolant thermostat problem or if the thermostat housing is leaking I would definitely replace it. To open the Mercedes-Benz EW213 coolant thermostat, first remove the charger air cooler as follows. Remove the engine ECM and when open the engine ECM your car will not have any problems. I need to remove the car's throttle body because I need to open the intake manifold. Be careful while opening the throttle body of the car because you have to open the wire socket in your body like this. Remove all intake manifold sensor sockets being careful not to damage any sensors or sockets. Open the sockets of all the wires and remove all the screws of the intake manifold.
removed all the screws on the intake manifold. Now I will remove the intake manifold. To open this coolant thermostat, first remove the two upper screws, remove the two coolant hose pipes from the radiator. To open remove one screw at the top side and one screw at the bottom side of the coolant thermostat housing. I removed the top and bottom screws of the coolant thermostat housing, removed the connection pipe to the radiator, now to open the coolant thermostat gently push it from side to side and pull it outwards. After removing the coolant thermostat housing complete set. See that the top side screw is completely white but the lower side has a red colored screw due to leaking coolant. See the engine block has a red spot due to the coolant leaking, the temp of the engine is very high due to this leak, the coolant leaks a small amount, but the coolant dries up when the engine is heated, so it is not seen to roll down, if it leaks a little more, it would be seen to fall down. Here is a new and an old coolant thermostat housing set. Now I will install the new coolant thermostat housing full set. While installing the new coolant thermostat housing set, be careful not to damage the o-ring. If there is a problem, the coolant may leak. First, tighten the two upper and lower screws attached to the coolant thermostat housing. The coolant thermostat housing set is properly installed now tighten the screws. Once the coolant thermostat is installed, install everything one by one to complete. Inshallah everything has been installed and now I will install the engine ECM. Now fill the tank with Mercedes original coolant, clear the fault code with the scan computer and keep the ignition on position. Now I will clear the fault code I will click for clear fault code, 
Please turn ignition switch off and then press enter to continue. Please wait 5 seconds for the fault code to be erased. Fault code cleared please turn on ignition switch or start the engine, then press enter to continue. Now I will check if there is any fault code click for read fault but no fault code. Now start the engine of the car, after some time after starting the engine check the coolant temperature is normal with the scan computer. After starting the engine and running the engine for some time. After starting the engine and the coolant temperature is normal, the coolant temperature is 80 degrees Celsius to 86 degrees Celsius then the cooling fan is running now the engine temperature is normal, the engine coolant temperature is now no problem. If you have any problem to understand something in the video, please tell in the comment box.